ETFinalScore.com has East Texas high school sports covered. And now you can take it with you. Get the latest scores from Friday Night Football, articles and videos. Focus in on Dotney photo galleries and more. So don't miss a thing and get your ETFinalScore.com app today. Tonight on CBS 19, 10 at 10, there are souvenirs from summer vacation, and then there's this. How a four-year-old boy ended up with a snail egg inside his leg after a trip tonight on 10 at 10. And now on to the morning's top stories. Thanks, guys. Good morning and welcome to this CBS 19 This Morning Update. I'm Clint Yates. New overnight, an early morning fire destroys a small storage barn in Longview. It happened just after one this morning on Highway 80 east of East Monroe. Firefighters tell us the barn stored hay, a tractor and pickup truck all were destroyed. Firefighters tell us they had problems getting to the building because it was located off the road. They eventually got to the building by going through a neighbor's yard. No injuries were reported. The cause of that fire is still under investigation. 50 acres catches fire at Hopkins County Sunday afternoon. It happened just north of Sulphur Springs on County Road 4612. It took firefighters several hours to put that fire out. Investigators say they're not sure what sparked that fire. Habitat for Humanity of Smith County is on a mission to build its 100th home in 100 hours with 100 sponsors. This is video of where that home will be located in North Tyler. The soon to be homeowner says she is excited about having a permanent place to live with her family. You know, 100 house. And I was like, 100, what? <laughs> yeah. But he told me and I was like, oh yeah. So it was, it was exciting though. Habitat for Humanity is asking for $700 from any family, business, or group of friends wanting to support the building. For more information on how to do just that, visit our website, cbs19.tv. Click on the hot button and then search under Monday's tab. Looking ahead, if you're wanting to enjoy a nice dinner, maybe on the patio, or you want to help out students, we know how you can do both. Villa Montez in Tyler will be donating 10% of its profits from sales today and tonight to Tyler Junior College Scholarships. The TJC Foundation has helped provide $1.9 million in scholarship funding to students there. Well, it's a pretty nice morning across East Texas, but the Mild temperatures for the weekend may not last throughout the week. Let's check in with Scott Fossey. He's got an update on our Monday weather. Scott. Clint, your forecast today on this Monday. Uh, summertime heat returning to the region over the next several days. Mid-70s early this morning. We'll be toying with 90 degrees by lunchtime today. Not any rainfall in sight, not only today, but most of the work. We could see a spotty shower, isolated thunderstorm by the tail end of the week on Friday and a slightly better chance this upcoming weekend, but only about a 20% chance. Highs today near 94, back down to around 93 between 5 and 6 o'clock this evening. Scattered showers and storms out over the open waters of the Gulf of Mexico, northwestern tip of the Gulf. From the middle to lower part of the Texas Gulf Coast, they'll see the rain today, but high pressure building in from the desert southwest, encompassing most of the Lone Star State and keeping the rain at bay over the next several days. Here are your numbers. Tomorrow morning, we start off not too bad, with temperatures dropping off one more morning this week into the upper 60s. 96 your high tomorrow, then we're in the upper 90s Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. There's a slight chance for rain this upcoming weekend. Thanks, Scott, for the very latest all day long. Check out our website, cbs19.tv. Hope you have a great Monday.